Hi guys, this is the second part assembly of the XOM. Next one, let's come to the servo 5. This one with the stick, so it's the assistant servo horn. Put the assistant servo horn in this way. Insert the servo well into the servo. You can see there are three holes on the servo, so we need to put the 2 to 6 screws in it. Then use the screwdriver to tighten it. Let's come to the main servo horn side. This side we need to press 4 screws, and they are the same, also the 2 to 6. And move to next part. This part can connect the servo 4 and the servo 5. This one is the big U bracket and the big plastic pillar. Please pay attention to the position, they should be the same holes. Use these longer screws. And then use the knot to tie the big U and the small U together. Put it aside and take the side bracket, side servo bracket. You can see there are also four holes. This is the small screws in the back. Same direction, the holes in a scroll. Put a smaller pillar. Hold the screws and put it back. Take another side bracket. Pay attention to the direction. Take the nuts and tighten it. These nuts and the screws are in the back with the plastic pillar together. Next one, take the 3 pins of a while. This one is the 15 cm. Take off the screws on the number 4 servo. This part is connect the servo fold. And put the bracket on the end of the servo. Put the screws back. This side is the assistant servo side because it has the decal with the ID number and we need to insert the servo well in any one of the ports, you can choose it. But please pay attention to the direction because the connector with the race port. The other end we need to put on the servo 3. We also need to take off the screws. The screws on the servo is very easy to take off. Please pay attention to the direction. We also need to connect them with the same side. For example, all of them has the sticker with the ID number. So they are the assistant servo home side. If you connect the main servo home side with the assistant servo home side, the direction, the posture will be very different. We need to be very careful. Put the end in the bracket, use the screws to tighten it. It's finished now. Let's put it aside and move to next part. This one is the ID2. It has the interface, so it's the assistant servo side. But we need to take the main servo home side this time. Take off the screws on the main servo home side. You can see there is a metal gear, so we need to put the metal gear on the top. Then put back the servo screws. There is only one servo horn in the back because it's very different. It has the race part. The name is Limit Server Home. 
With the wrist part, it can protect the robotic arm well. We need to put the wrist part to the end of the servo. Oops, I put it in the wrong direction, so I need to take it off and re-put it. The holes should be in this way. Put the three two six screws in the middle. This one is a fixed part to connect the gripper. We need to put the wrong side at the bottom. And take the three two six screws in here. Two parts in total. One is on the left and another one is on the right side. It's not easy to put the screws in here, so you may need to be patient. We need to tighten the right screws, but not the left screw because it will help after assemble the gripper. We need to tighten the screw on the right. Put the connector like this. This is the second part for the assembly. Then put the silver wire into the port. Is the screws on the back of the gripper. And take another one. To be honest, it's not easy to put the nut in here because it's too small, but we need to be patient, right? This nut and the screws can be found in the gripper bag. They are separate with the accessory bag. And tighten it. You can see all of them are black here. Now we can tighten the screw on the left side. Thanks for your watching, this is the finish of the second part, and let's come to the last part in the next episode.